Now listen, it's been a while since I've been to school, but this is some of the stuff that I remember being stupid about school. No, no matter about history. Setting word limits is stupid. An essay is only as good as it is concise, right? So if I've concisely made my point in like 2,000 words, why are you going to force me to write 3,000 words of shit? Okay, listen, here's an assignment for everyone watching this video, right? In a maximum of 20 words, tell me what carpet is. Alright, I said, carpet is a soft material usually laid on floors of houses to offer a soft surface on which to walk. Very easy, right? Now do the same, but write 200 words. Like, you get to the point where you don't know what to write. Alright, if I had to, I'd say something like, uh, my grandma's carpet is really ugly. Uh, carpet slowly gets darker as time goes by, but you don't realise it until you see the carpet underneath the sofa or the bed, and it's like really soft and a little bit lighter. Uh, lesbians munch it. You, you see? This is garbage! Say I'm in the park and I decide to play a game of pickup basketball, right? Say I make a team and it's got LeBron James, Stephen Curry, James Harden and Anthony Davis. This is a pretty good team, isn't it? But if I forced you to have six players, the team becomes this! Do you see how by adding this extra, it's become shitter? If I've made my point, let me finish my essay and hand it in. Don't set word limits. Don't know much biology. Some of the shit you learn, for example, from our schooling, I know that the Great Fire of London was in 1666. And I also know that the reason that leaves are green is because of a thing called chlorophyll. Why the fuck do I know this? It's never gonna help me. But while I do know that, I don't know a fucking thing about how I would do my taxes if I decided to start my own business or how to go about getting a mortgage. Haven't got a fucking clue. However, what I do know is the main news headline from London 350 fucking years ago and I've got this fucking pot I made in art class. I'm sure everyone's experienced this as I have. You can have some shit lazy teacher who always teaches in one boring shit monotonous way but whenever there's a guest at the back of the room observing him he completely changes! There's more activities that he normally never does, there's group activities, there's mini assessments, there's everything! He even talks different! Alright you little bastards, everyone get out your textbooks and turn to page 69 okay. Uh, okay class, listen, today we're gonna learn about 3D shapes, so uh... We're all going to Egypt to learn about pyramids! Hey! This used to happen when I was a kid and I didn't really appreciate it but I've been working in a school for the past year so I'm privy to this information, right? So let me fill you in. Standard teaching practice in some countries is that you get external governing bodies like Ofsted that come in to observe how teachers are doing and to basically assess teachers and tell them oh you're good, you're outstanding or you're shit, right? But the dumb part is they tell you in advance like oh listen we'll be checking you out on Tuesday period 4 and because the teacher knows they'll be being observed They'll go out of their way to make a crazy good lesson, but when they're not being observed, they have some dog shit lesson. So you'll get some teachers that are crap, but because they're told, oh, we're going to check you out on Tuesday at 7 o'clock, they'll go out of their way and spend literally, some people have told me, four hours planning the fucking lesson, whereas they'll spend about 10 minutes on the other ones. This alone makes monitoring teachers so fucking dumb. If you actually want to monitor teachers, right, fucking surprise them. Don't know much about the This one never made any fucking sense to me, yeah? You're in class and you've done something a little bit stupid, right? The teacher asks you, What do you think you're doing? What do you do that for? And you say, Ah, oh, Johnny told me to do it. Which is not a good reason, right? Then the teacher says, If Johnny told you to jump off a cliff or shove a cactus up your ass, would you do that as well, grade? What? Obvi no, obviously not, you smart ass. Do you not see that a line's been crossed in going from throwing a paper aeroplane across the classroom and leaping to my death? Another reply that never made sense to me was, Oi sir, can I go to the toilet? Shut up and do your work grade, you should have gone at break time. What do you mean I should have gone at break time? I'm asking you to go for a piss now? Break was like an hour ago. If I had to go for a piss at break time, I would have gone for a piss at break time. Who do you think I am? I don't just control me bodily functions. And 
also, piss off, teacher. You're like 40 years old and you fat bastard. You've got a gut that you're resting on the table. You've probably been constipated at least once in your life before. In the same way that you couldn't go for a shit whenever you wanted, I can't go for a piss whenever I want. Okay, fair enough. Well, I can go for a piss whenever I want. But to say that I should have gone for a piss in break time is not a valid solution. Right, so what is he saying? Is he saying that everyone in school should go for a piss at break time? That would be fucking mayhem. So to avoid that from becoming the norm, let me just go for a fucking piss, mate. Shut up, Grade. I said you should have gone a break. Alright, you know what? Fine. Teacher, you're right. I should have gone for a piss in break time. How careless of me. I'm just gonna stay sat in my seat and I'm gonna try and focus on me work whilst I'm busting for a piss. And let's see how well this goes, watch. Look! Look, asshole! Look at this! I've gone and pissed myself. Is this what you wanted, is it? Dickhead! What if I needed to go for a shit? What if I had Indian food the night before, huh? Oh, I never did this, but some kids apparently say they need to go to the toilet just so they can leave the class for a bit, right? But that's not a reason to not let them go. I get that it's the case of the boy who cried wolf, right? But when the consequences of them not crying wolf involve someone potentially shitting themselves, they can cry wolf all they want. And also, might I add, more often than just occasionally, the toilets are blocked from some arseholes shoving rolls and rolls of toilet paper down there, so your solution's even worse. Some of the teachers that work at schools, like fucking hell, we used to have this one geography teacher, Mr. Rando, and he was some 60 year old overly strict, miserable old bastard. He hates coming to work, so he hates it himself, and then as a result, we, the kids, hate it, because he's such a miserable old twat. And it's like, for fuck's sake, what, what are you here for? You're miserable doing this job, and as a result, you're making it shit for us. Just fuck off, man. Either fuck off, quit, retire, or get fired, man. Oi, head teacher, listen, what are you playing at? Do you owe this guy a favour or something? Can you fire him already? I'm telling you, a good teacher completely changes your perception of a subject. Give me a teacher that will make me want to pay attention. I'll be like 12 years old and the PE teachers are so strict, shouting at us like some army sergeant dropout wannabes. Can't control men, so you decide to... Like, you're throwing your weight about... With children, man. Some of the stuff they make you do is like, come on, you don't want to do rugby, do ya? Little 75 pound child, you better have a permission slip to not do rugby. Indeed I do. Not bad. The amount of times that I forged my dad's signature, I became better at it than my dad. And when I was in school, some of the kids were like twice my size. So no, mate, I'm not going to play fucking rugby, because I'm going to get murdered. I don't claim to be an some of the rules that we used to have in our PE class back in the days, we used to have a rule where if you forget your PE kit, the teacher would say, Oh, have you not got your PE kit, have you? Go in the storeroom and get a change of kit. You go in the storeroom and it looks like this, and it's the most disgusting place you've ever been, right? And they expect me to wear a pair of shorts and shirt from this disease-ridden nasty shit pile. Oh, why do I have to wear this shit? No, man! I'd much rather get a bit sweaty than catch whatever diseases are floating around in the stale air in that room. Have some mercy! But I'm trying to be. And whilst we're on the topic of PE, some of the scheduling that we used to have was fucking stupid! Like, why are we playing badminton indoors in the summer and doing cross-country running in fucking winter? Idiot! Like, whose idea was this? Who timetable this shit? Oh, of course. For maybe by being an A student, baby, I can win your love. Sorry, can I just tack on a quick little message? Right, dumper.nl, can you stop stealing me fucking videos, mate? Bit fucked up, isn't it? How about you stop that, you dickhead?